yeah welcome again to my fashion class and today i want to teach you how to cut a simple peplum top so i have about almost three years of fabric on the table that i'm going to be using so i'm going to fold so that i'm able to cut the top part of the peplum so as you see i folded um into two so i'm still going to fold this way into four so i could cut the up and the down the back and the front panel all right so i need to get the length of my top and when you're folding you need to fold in a way to maximize the fabric because most tailors actually have that problem when it comes to utilizing your fabric properly so if you don't fold well you find yourself using more than you should actually use so i'm going to check lengthwise to see if this will be okay for what i need i want to cut the size 16 so I want to check this way and I have about 14 that's a bit too much because this top will not have a dart it won't have um, what's it called even lining so I'll make it free enough for a size 16 to wear all right so here I get 52 and I think that should be perfect for a size 16 after sewing it can come to like a 48 at the bust so I'm going to cut now the length of the top so I'm going to use like a 19 or yeah 19 so on, let me go for 20 so after sewing it could come to like a 19 because there's going to be an elastic at the waist so we need enough fabric we need enough fabric for the top or allowance so by the time we cut we will not it will not become too short because the bust would actually lift it up so we need some room right there so i'm going to take this part off okay and i'm going to cut off the part of the fabric that will not be easy okay so this length is just perfect for what we want so now i'm going to get the shoulder i'm going to be doing like um, 17 shoulder eight and a half Okay, because this is Ankara, it doesn't actually stretch. Then the armhole, nine inches. So I'm just going to cut that off. I hope you can see clearly because Ankara sometimes um, doesn't let you see the tracing. Okay, that's my amp O that I've taken out, as you can see. So right now, I need to get the bust. Let me see. Um, like size 16 should be like a 45 bust. So after sewing, we should have like a 48. It's, it's fine. We don't need to shape in the waist. The elastic will do that for us. So what we need to do is get the neckline. So it's folded still. I'm going to get a four and a half. Okay, by four neckline. You can do any size of neckline you want that you'll be comfortable with. Okay. So I will just take off the back, taking off like two inches at the back. First, as you can see, I'm going to make a slant here to the shoulder, taking off about one inch from the side, so that it actually relaxes properly okay you can see then now i'm going to take out one of the pieces so that i can cut the front neckline you always should you should always remember to do that so that at the end of the day you don't have the back and front cut together so always remember that when you are cutting so the front the top part of our peplum is done as you can see that's the front and this is the back and for the back also you can make an incision for you can make it here just cut it at the back so you can add uh, like a button so it's easy to wear okay like three inches is just perfect so i've done that we can now keep that aside i'm going to cut now the peplum it's like a flare but it needs to be wide enough so when you add um when you add your elastic, it's going to really come together nicely. So we're going to be cutting a 360 flare. Okay. 
So I want to have like a 27, 26 inches long top. So if we've done 19 for the top, we need to get like 10 for the bottom. So what I normally do after folding this, see what I have left from all the fabric. I need to be careful that what is left for my sleeve will be actually okay. So I think with this, I'll be fine. So from the bottom of this folding, I'll just measure like a 10. Okay, and the 10 stops there. So from here, I come here to get the waist. So I have to go seven and a half all around. Seven and a half from the point that is folded. Seven and a half, seven and a half, okay? Then you make your mark and you measure to make sure that it should actually be okay, perfect for the, for the purple, for the top part. So this is about 50 we have here, which is okay. So now I'm going to just go 10 all around from that point where we're going to have the waistline. So I'm just going to do 10. I'm going to do 10. You need to do this so that your peplum is going to be equal. If you don't do that, at the end of the day, you find having you having uneven edges, and you will not want to have that. So. Fine. So now I'm going to cut here too. And our peplum is ready. Our flare is ready. So you see, it's wide enough to ac accommodate the top that I've cut earlier. You can see that. So we'll keep this aside also. Then we'll come to the sleeve. This is all we have left. So we'll now have to fold together. Okay. Make it a bit wide, as you can see, that's as wide as I can get. Okay, and the top part is going to be narrower, then at the bottom, as it goes down, is wider. So, I'm just going to do something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. you can notice that I didn't measure, but now I'm going to check what I have here. I need to get like 18. Because it doesn't have to be once it goes down i'll use the full fabric i have there it doesn't have to be fitted it has to be a bit loose okay subsequently i guess i'm going to be using um a more a plain material so you could see the tracing properly. Okay, so that's our sleeve. So we can notch here for easy sewing to make sure you know where the parts, the center parts will be. So that's our sleeve. So let's see what we have here. We have about 22 inches long. So we're going to cut our band. We could still reduce that, it depends on how tall you are. Okay, if you're not so tall, you can make that like a 20 before the band, so the sleeve won't be too long. So, I'm going to keep this aside, then I need to cut the band for the bottom of that sleeve now. So, I need a band that is a bit wide, so I'm going to be cutting, making it double because it has to be lined. Okay, so now we need at the bottom about um, 12 inches. After sewing, it comes to like a 10. So as it goes up, it's a bit wider. It doesn't have to be straight. So we're going to make like um, a gather at the bottom of the sleeve to fit into this band. Okay, so the, the length should be like um, a six, that's fine. All right, so there we have it. So what we're going to do is, this will form the base of our sleeve. This is a sleeve. And that's the base. So this is going to be gathered. 
to fit into the sleeve so you have what you see in the picture so i hope it was simple the sewing made easy you're able to get um, the drift of the class so if you like my video give it a thumb up and feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our videos